Are you worried about low GT score or can't even cross above 100 correct or plateau in the GTs even after studying so hard? Hey everyone, I am Dr. Shamna Sara Akhtar and I got all in direct 442 in NEET PG 2025. Today I am going to talk about something every NEET PG aspirant is worried about that is grand test. I get many questions asking when to actually start giving GTs and how to review it and how many you should actually give before your main exam and here i will also share my own gt journey from my first gt where i got 86 correct to 167 correct in my neat pg 2025 and what actually worked for me when to start giving gts here is what i followed and what i recommend so in the early phase from May to November, you can give one GT in every three to four weeks. Just to know where you stand. Don't focus on marks, just focus on averiness. In the mid phase, from month of December to April, give one GT every two weeks. You will start recognizing a pattern like which subject is dragging your marks down. And in the final phase, there can be two ways. If you have enough time, you can give one GT per week. This is when you train your brain for that three hours stamina, speed and accuracy. Or, or in the final month, no GTs at all, which I followed because I was not getting the score up to the mark and which actually disturbed my mental status. So instead what I did, I solved per day 150 to 200 questions by custom module. So if you are like me affected by GT score in the last month, you can avoid giving GTs also. How to review GT? Now this is where most of the people go wrong. Giving GTs is important. But reviewing them in the right way is more important. So how I did, first of all, analyze the overall GT. Check your subject-wise performance. Then review your mistakes carefully. Better review subject-wise. First review from your weakest subject from the below because initially you have more energy and more stamina. Then by the end you review your strong subject so that it takes lesser time by the end and you have less energy by that time where you have done most of the questions correctly so it becomes easier to review them at last. You can add the topics in your mistake notebook or in the main notes. As many of you also asked me how many days does it take to actually review your GTs. So initially when I gave GTs like I made uh, more than 100 questions wrong attempt. It took me around 4 to 5 days to review the whole GTs like per day I could only review 50 questions and it took me so so much long time. But gradually, when my GT was improving and I made less mistakes like around 50, 60, then it took me one day to give GTs and to review that completely. So it's okay if now you are unable to review it in one day, but gradually you will. How many GTs to give? So by the end of my preparation, I gave around 22 GTs. And the first 10 GTs were like to understand the exam pattern. Next 7 to 8 GTs were very serious, full length revision and the last 4 to 5 GTs were completely exam stimulation GTs, same time, same environment and full focused. So ideally if you can give around 20 to 25 GTs in your full journey, it is more than enough if you review each one properly. So lastly, why to give GT? See the real exam may be 8 months away, it does not create a constant pressure which is needed. So if we give GTs every alternate day, it will give us the right amount of pressure to stay consistent. GTs also help us giving reality check every two weeks, then building exam temperament under pressure, highlighting weak areas to improve, then tracking gradual progress. So don't chase marks in GTs. Use them as a stepping stone to strengthen your strategy. Remember, it is not about topping a GT. It is about topping your real exam. So I started giving my GT just after my internship in the month of May. So this was my first GT where I got 86 correct and I made more wrong attempts, 103. And you can see my percentile is 43.4 percentile. That means the paper was a bit easier, but I performed very, very bad. Then I gave my next GT in the month of June which was NEET 2023 recall because NEET 2024 was just few days left. So to build up confidence, I gave NEET 2023 recall and I got quite good 113 correct, but my percentile was still 60.06 percentile. Then I gave next GT in the month of July, which was INICT mock 2024 May session. Most of the questions just went over my head. I did not understand the question only and I felt so sleepy that I skipped the exam and where I got only 12.75% very bad. 
then the next GT I gave in the month of August which was Grand Test 17 and I scored 101 correct I think it was quite good but only 55.25 percentile I also gave my NEED 2024 in the month of August uh, where I got 116 correct and all in the rank 66,000 so I think according to my preparation it was quite good only for me then you can see here that uh, till the month of November I gave 1 GT per month but from the month of December I gave 2 GT per month also January, February in the month of March I gave 3 GTs in the April I also in the month of April I gave 3 GTs in a month I started preparing seriously for my GTs from the month of November and I got 99 correct 79.32 uh, percentile from here you can see uh, my score was uh, gradually increasing and in the grand test tree I got 91 percentile it was my first spike after that you can see my score was almost in a plateau phase almost getting in the same range so most of you think to complete the syllabus first then you will start giving GT but you are wrong this is the biggest mistake GTs are not for checking how much you know they are meant they are meant to train your brain to think in the exam condition so once i started giving them regularly even when my syllabus was incomplete i began to notice the pattern like the subject i revise and keep gt i score more in that subject than the subject i don't revise before gts so i tried to keep two days before my gts where i tried to revise maximum subjects i could also make volatile topic notes notes to revise them before gts and every GT helped me to and every GT helped me to correct one small thing like time management to man like time management to avoid silly mistakes and then how to tackle anxiety and how to do quick revisions. So if you are scared to start GT, trust me, I have been there. First few scores doesn't define you. What matter is how much you improve with every test. Also, you can see the exam was coming near. My my score also dropped in my last GT so I stopped giving GT in the last month and I was very disturbed but before that I managed to give every GTs if you found this video helpful hit the like button comment below how many GTs you have given so far also subscribe to my channel for more honest and real preparation discussion remember every GTs count even every reviews count so so keep showing up even on the low score days because consistency wins in the end